If you want to know the right grade of bill to buy for your thrift clothing business, where to buy them and how to buy them, in this video I'll be explaining all that. When you go to thrift clothing depots where they sell thrift clothing in large quantity for business owners, you're going to find the highest grade which is the stockage in French. These are items that are new, the um, probably customers returns, end of stock. The, the most expensive you're going to find, you're going to find in this category, luxury to common brands. It mix, it could be um, children's clothing, it could be adult clothing, it could be shoes, clothes. You choose what you want in this category. Now the next is first grade hand picks. In first grade hand picks, you're going to have a rack of items already prepared by the depot as first grade. So here you'll be allowed to choose the items that you want. So because you're choosing the items that you want, you're doing hand picks. So you're going to pay two times the usual price of a first grade bill. Next is first grade bill. In a first grade bill, the items are without stains, without tears, without faults. So if you find any faults in first grade bills, maybe it's going to be 5 to 10% of the items, which might be an error from whoever prepared that bill. But in first grade bills, you're not supposed to find much items with faults. In first grade bill, also you're going to find common to luxury items. You can have a bill of adult clothes, um, children's clothes, or a mixed bill. It depends on what they have or how they sell or what you want them to do. But the minimum size of most of these bills is usually 45 kg. So first grade bill is very ideal for adult clothes because it's going to take you a lot. It's going to take you time and money to take away these things from adult clothes and to maintain the tears because most adult clothes are worn for a long time. Then the next is second grade. In second grade, in this category, you're going to find items with faults, with tears, with stains. So for me, this is ideal for children's clothing because you don't have too much stains in children's clothing and they don't wear them too much. You don't wear them for too long. So you have maybe food stains, you hardly have tears in their clothes. So for the children's clothing, you can buy a first grade and a second grade to see the difference and to know what really works, what really suits your business. But if you're selling online, what is really good is to buy first grade, to buy clothes without fault because the customers won't be seeing this fault exactly the way um, they are so if you give them items with stains or uh, items even if you even if you note them that this item has stains the problem is because they're not seeing the stain they can't tell if this is a stain that is removable or not so they might not want to buy you're going to have a lot of items that are unsellable and this might affect your business and the next which is the last is um, called originals so these items are items that have not been sorted so even the depots have no idea the contents of this item. They can't tell you if the items are in good condition or they're not in good condition. And the net they're selling them to you just the way they were being donated. So here you can find a mix of bags, clothes, beddings. It could be anything in this bag or carton. And the, um, the, the, the cheapest category you're going to find in a depot. Some depots do have them and maybe some don't. It could be common luxury brand. I haven't tried this before and I don't have plans of trying it except maybe for the sake of making a video but for me it's a very big risk and if you want to try it why not you can try it and let us know how it works another method of buying thrift clothes to resell is buying from charity organizations this is common but the problem of buying from charity organizations is that you can't buy in large quantity you're going to buy as an individual because they are there to sell to individuals, they are not there to sell to to sell in large quantity to a particular person. So you just buy few to test to see how the business is working or you're buying for personal use. But the advantage of buying in charity organization is that you can have the time to sort what you want, to choose what brand you want, but you're still going to spend too much time shopping because they are not open every day in a week. I don't know about your country, they are not usually open every day in a week and you can't buy in large quantity. So for me, it's time consuming like you spend time buying to sell i prefer buying in a depot because if you buy in a depot you can buy as much quantity as you want you can buy enough to carry you for maybe three months or six months you don't have to go back to buy clothes 
you just have to focus on taking pictures and listing the items but in your country if you don't have depots like this to buy you can buy from people who import bills in containers to your country um, because they import them in containers, the, the, the shipping cost is going to be a little bit more economical and they can sell to you at a good price. Instead of you shipping one bill from another country to your country, unless you have a good method of shipping or you know a company that does um, groupage and they can add your item to their container. So this is it. At first, I, I didn't know about depots. Um, I was, it was difficult trying to... to to buy like it was taking me too much time trying to buy items but ever since i started buying from depots like the stress of how to buy that's over for me i just need to <laughs> i just need time or someone to work with me to take pictures so that's all i need so if this video actually answered your questions kindly let me know in the comment section and if you have more questions also let me know in the comment section bye